seeing things, it's important to get scales that are suitable for the job. These feathers are so light, I don't even get a reading on these kitchen scales. But is there any point weighing this apple on these very accurate scales? Even the leaf would make a difference. Consider the measurement of a length in metres. This ruler is divided into metres, centimetres and millimetres. But with a microscope, each of these millimetres can be divided into ten. You can always be more precise. And sometimes, high precision is crucial. To the fastest people in the world, one hundredth of a second can make the difference between a medal or not. In sprints, a fast start can give you the edge you need to win. On your marks. My investigation. Set. Starts here. At the Alexander Stadium in Birmingham. <laughs> Hi, Susan. Hi. Susan Boubier is an athletics timing specialist. We can walk. Oh, good. Thank you. Because that's where we have all the equipment that measures the reaction time. Ah, now, reaction time is the time between when the gun goes off and the time the athlete actually leaves the blocks. That's right. And it's such a small amount of time that you can't use a conventional stopwatch to measure it. And you can't often see it with the human eye either. Hello, Richard. Morning. He's the guy that gets everything moving. So the sound of his gun activates a trigger which starts all the timing equipment in the stadium. And that time is measured to a thousandth of a second. Thousandth of a second? Well, that's 0.001 seconds. That's right. Wow. And we can also measure the reaction time from here as well. This is the starting block. So the athletes press against these pads. When they hear the gun sound, they push back with a huge pressure and that propels them forward. This time is also measured to a thousandth of a second. And both measurements have the same accuracy because it would be pointless having one measurement more accurate than another in any experiment. That's right. And then all the data is fed into the computer. So how quickly can sprinters react? This is the graph, so you can see the time along this axis and the pressure going up here. The straight line is where the athletes are in the blocks. The line coming down here is where the gun goes bang. And then you can see a sharp increase in pressure as the athlete reacts to the sound of the gun. The difference, then, is the reaction time. All these top-class athletes react in just over 0.1 seconds. So how will my reaction time measure up? On your marks. Hmm, could do better. About double the real athletes. Set. No better, but what if I guess when he's going to fire and react just before? Set. The system registers it immediately. A false start. Look closely. I move off the blocks just before he fires. I need help. John Regis, just what I need, some expert help. What am I doing wrong here? Well, first and foremost, starting is the integral part of, of 100 meter sprinting. And if you get this part wrong, you have you haven't got a good chance of winning the race. What do you think about when you're about to start a race? When the starter says, set. Set. All you're thinking of is reaction to the gun. <laughs> Once the starter then, then fires the gun, it's just all about reaction. As quickly as you can, get into your stride and run as fast as you can. Well, as you're here, John, you might as well make yourself useful and do some work on it. OK, me. here we go. First and foremost, I think, I'm looking at your leg length and it's obviously a lot shorter than mine. So I have to move this one a bit further forward right. to give you that ability to drive from the blocks. <laughs> Second thing, get in a comfortable position. You look rather like a penguin and <laughs> penguins don't run very fast. What you've got to do is put your hands a firm base on the tips of your fingers. Okay. All we're going to do now, I'm going to say set, put my hand there and 
Go! Time to put it to the test. Third. OK, that was a good one. But does the computer agree? That was outstanding. Unbelievable performance. I agree. So, how did I do? Femi, give up your day job and turn to track and field. Really? Absolutely. I mean, your reaction time was 0 0.180, which Excellent. is superb.